Hello everyone. We are to solve x equals square root of 8 over x. If, you, if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing so you can get um, more of my videos. Okay, so the first step is to remove this um, root, right? So we're going to square both sides so that this root can be removed. So we have the square root of 8 over x. This will be squared. Okay, so that this will go with this now. And then here we have our x squared to be equal to 8 over x. Now what should I do from here? We cross multiply. So if you cross multiply this now, you're going to have x to the power of 3 equals 8. And what is 8? Your 8 here is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3. Now, if you are to solve for this and get um, one solution, your x is simply 2. But then, if you are to solve it completely, you're supposed to get three solutions, right? Now, let's see how we we'll get the three solutions. Bring this to the left. So that x to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 will be equal to 0. And here we have a difference of 2 cubes. And this a minus a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 is in this form already, right? And this is equal to a minus b, if you can remember, into a squared plus a b plus b squared right now what do we do express this one in this form so a minus b becomes x minus 2 right then in the second bracket a squared becomes x squared plus a b this a b now is going to be x times 2 and that will give 2x plus b squared, which is going to be 2 here. So we'll write 2 squared. And then everything is equal to 0. If we proceed, we can just have our x minus 2. And then we have x squared plus 2x plus 4 equal to 0. Okay. And since we are multiplying these two, to get, um, we're multiplying these two to get zero. So either of them must be equal to zero. You have to know when to apply what we are going to do. It is called zero product rule. Okay. Imagine that you have A times B to be equal to two, right? You cannot say that it's either A is equal to two or B is equal to two. Okay. This is not allowed. You can only do that if this is 0. So we are going to say that our x minus 2 is 0 or x squared plus 2x plus 4 is equal to 0. And then if we pick only this, this is going to be x minus 2 plus 2. That's how to remove. You add... Um, you know, you get the additive inverse of minus 2, which is plus 2. Then you add to both sides. So we have 0 plus 2. I'll get back to this. Minus 2 minus minus 2 plus 2 is gone. So our x would just be equal to 0 plus 2, which is 2. This is what we would have got if we used the shorter method or the quicker method. That would give us only one solution. Now I will go back to this quadratic equation and deal with it. Let me write it here x squared plus 2x plus 4 equals 0. And I believe that we can remember this formula x equals minus b plus or minus. We have b squared minus 4ac divided by 2. A. Okay, um, I remember back then in secondary school, they used to call this almighty formula, right? 
but it is called the quadratic general formula. Now, our a is the coefficient of x squared, b is the coefficient of x, and c is 4, which is the constant over there. So, we'll just put straight into the formula. Minus b now is going to be our, our minus 2, because b is 2. Then, plus or minus, we have the square root of 2 squared minus 4 times 1 because a is 1 now times 4 and this is because c is 4 all of this is divided by 2 right let's continue okay so from here now our x will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus the square root of 2 squared which is 4 minus 4 times 1 times 4 and that is 16 as we divide by 2 times 1 and that is 2 okay some students will see that this number is perfect and this is also a perfect square so they will take the square root of both sides of both of them before simplifying but that is not correct so you have to simplify before you find the square root so x will now be minus 2 plus or minus the square root of minus 12 that is 4 minus 16 and then we divide by 2 now you can just pick out this negative from here x will give minus 2 plus or minus we have square root of 12 multiplied by square root of negative 1 because you know that okay this is divided by 2 right this is because if you have square root of a multiplied by square root of b, this is the same thing as the square root of a, b. Because this and this can multiply. That is what can happen here, right? Now, our x will now be minus 2 plus or minus. This square root of 12, we can break it down again as we have square root of 4 times 3. Then multiply by i, square root of negative 1. The whole of this is divided by 2. Now our x from here is minus 2 plus or minus the... Okay, square root of 4 is 2. Then we have root 3 times i. This is divided by 2. And if we go ahead, our x is going to be minus 2 plus or minus 2 times i, that will be 2i, then we have root 3 over 2. Now, the denominator will go into both numerators, so that this will go here, and x will now be minus 1, plus or minus, mind you, some students will not know that the same 2 should go there. So, this same 2 will go there, and it will have um, i root 3. There's no denominator again. And we cannot add this and this or subtract this. Subtract this from this. So our x now is equal to minus 1 plus i root 3 or minus 1 minus i root 3. Now let's bring the three solutions together. If you can remember, we got x1 before, which is 2. And then our x2 is this particular one, minus 1 plus i root 3. And then our x3 is minus 1 minus i root 3. So these three are the solutions to the equation.